Well, this weekend, the 48th annual Great Oregon Steam Up shows off the history of heavy machinery. Yeah, it's a working museum of power equipment and other machines of the past century. Cor Harlan shows us what's been going on this weekend, beginning in Brooks. This 1923 Rumley oil pull tractor is one of the many exhibits at the Powerland Heritage Park. It's part of the Great Oregon Steam Up, taking part for the next two weekends here in Brooks, Oregon. Here we go. It is a two-cylinder oil-cooled farm tractor, and it still has to get up and go to muddle through the grounds of this weekend's Great Oregon Steam Up. The tractor and the wheat thresher it's pulling is an addiction of Phil Lanzaratas, who took well over a year to rebuild both the tractor and the thresher. I just try and show people what threshing is all about and how wheat has been threshed when it comes out of the field the old way. For gentlemen farmers of the last century, the six horsepower beauties like this 1946 Gibson Model D were enough to get the job done. 22 inch rear wheels, three forward speeds, one reverse. And an easy drive, even when some of the farm's bluntest instruments are behind the wheel. There's also a nostalgia for these small farm machines because they used to all be manufactured here. These were early garden tractors, and these are kind of unique because they're on tracks instead of wheels. Uh, and most all these in here were made either in Portland or Seattle. The Ironworks Museum, six different metal machining tools powered by an old but effective series of belts and wheels that turn all of the equipment brought here for display from a man's garage in Portland. <laughs> The old exhibits come alive at Powerland Heritage Park, a 62-acre heritage site for power equipment, a place where you can see how things from the past got the job done. In Brooks, Cor Harlem, Point Six News.